Hello everyone! In this video, we will be solving equations with fraction using Fraction Buster. This is the first part. I will put the link of the second part in the description box below. So fraction busting is a method where we get rid of the fraction so that we are able to solve an equation with no fractions on them. Now let's take this first example here. So as you can see, there are fractions on them or pretty much like they're all fractions. So how do we get rid of this fraction? Again, we're going to use Fraction Buster. So the first thing that we're going to do is to determine what is the LCM or LCM stands for the least common multiple. So the least common multiple is a number such that if we divide that number by the denominators here, the, it will give a whole number. So for example, in we have a number four, three and three, actually our LCM for this is 12. So that if we divide 12 divided by four is three, 12 divided by 3 is 4. So an LCM is a number in such a way that these denominators are divisible to that number. So that number would be 12. So I'm going to multiply all of these by its LCM. Again, that's 12. So I'm going to multiply 12. Then I'm going to multiply this by 12. And I will multiply this by 12. So all of them will be multiplied by 12. Now, here's the thing. Others are going to think that they're going to multiply 12 and 3 and 12 and 4. Oh, no. That is not the right way to do it. Remember that this 12 is a whole number. This means that this one has an invisible denominator of 1. So all of these will have an invisible denominator of 1. I'm using like a broken line to tell us that it's invisible. We don't have to write it. So what are we going to do when we multiply these numbers is we multiply only across. 12 and 3 are the only ones that we multiply. So in this problem here, this would come out 12 times 3 would be 36 over 1 times 4 is just 4. And then we have an x. I'm just going to write x there. Plus, then we're going to multiply 12 times 8 is 96. And then that is 1 times 3 is just 3. And that is equal to 12 times 35 is 420. And that is divided by 1 times 3 is 3. And then from here, we can go ahead and simplify it. 36 divided by 4 is 9. And then we have an x plus 96 divided by 3 is 32. And then that is equal to um, 420 divided by 3 is 140. You see, at this point, we already have gotten rid of the fractions. So we're going to uh, subtract both sides by 32, then subtract this by 32. So we are left with 9x is equal to 108. Since we want x by itself, we're going to divide both sides by 9. Divide this by 9, so we're left with x. So we can cross the x out. So then our x is actually 108 divided by 9 is 12. So that is the value of x. As you can see here, we already have a um, um, an equation without a fraction. So that's why we can already solve it like uh, really quick. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. So we're going to find the LCM since we only have a, a denominator of 2 here. No others are going to say, oh, there's no denominator to this. So uh, what are we going to do with that? So remember, if it's a whole number, it has an uh, invisible denominator of 1. So this one has an invisible denominator of 1. And the 15 will have an invisible denominator of 1. So in this problem that we have here, the denominators are 2, 1, and 1. So the LCM for this would be 2. So we're going to multiply all of these by 2. Then we're going to multiply all of this by 2 here, including that of 15. So multiply that by 2. So again, please remember that when we multiply this, we, all, we only, others are going to think that they're going to multiply 2 times 3 and 2 times 2. Oh, no. That is not the way how we do it. It has to be only with the 2 and the 3, not the, the one with the denominator. Because remember, this one has an invisible denominator of one so just multiply them across so that would be two times three would be six over two then we have an x and then minus two times three is six is equal to two times um 15 is 30 so then we can divide this six divided by two is three 
x minus 6 equals 30. At this point, we already have like uh, an equation without fraction on them, which is, uh, which is easier to solve. So then from here, we can go ahead and add 6 from both sides, plus 6 and plus 6. So we can cross the um, 6 out. So we're left with 3x equals 36. So then we, we can divide both sides by 3, divide this by 3. So then our x is 12. Did you get the same answer as this? X is equal to 12? Good. Perfect. Now let's move on to the next example right here. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try these problems out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. So the denominators that we have here are 4, 2, and 4. So we're going to determine the LCM or the least common multiple because that would be the number that we multiply to all of them. So that number would be 4. So 4 is divisible by 4. Um, uh, 2 can be divided by 4 and 4 can be divided by 4. So then our LCM is 4. So we're going to multiply all of this by 4. Okay, so then again, um, when we when we multiply this by 4, others are going to think that they're going to multiply 4 times 3x and 4 times 4. Oh, that is no. not the way how we do it. We only multiply these two. And remember, this one is an invisible denominator of 1. So that would be 4 times 3x is 12x. Invisible of 1 times 4 is 4 plus... 4 times x is 4x over 2 is equal to 4 times 17 would be 68 and that is over 4. And then from here we can simplify this. That's 12 divided by 4 is 3x plus 4 divided by 2 is 2 and then we have an x and that is equal to 17 because you have a um, 68 divided by 4 is 17. And then from here, we can um, combine like terms. So remember that this 3x and 2x are like terms. So we can go ahead and write 5x for this. That's the sum of those two is equal to 17. So we want x by itself. So we can divide both sides by 5. Then we can divide this by 5. So we can cross the 5 out. So we're left with x is equal to 17 over 5. Did you get the same answer as this? Good. Perfect. Now let's move on to the next one right here. So in this problem that we have, we have a 6 and a 3 as denominator. Because again, remember that this 4x and 2 has an invisible denominator of 1, invisible denominator of 1. So we need to figure out what number can be divided by 6 and can be divided by 3 such that it gives a whole number. So that number would be 6. So that is our LCM or the least common multiple. So we're going to multiply all of these by 6. Then I'm going to multiply this by 6. Then all of these will be multiplied by 6. So then we are going to just multiply 6 and 4x. So that would be um, 24x, so I'm going to write 24x plus 6 times x is 6x over 6 plus that 6 times 2 is 12 and that is equal to 6 times 31 is 186 divided by 3 because again remember others are going to think that they're going to multiply the 6 to both x and 6 times x and 6 times 6. Oh, that is not no. the way how we do it. We only multiply the 6 with x and then remember that's an invisible denominator of 1. The same thing for this. Others are going to think that it's 6 times 31 and 6 times 3. That is not the way how we do it. We only multiply 6 and 31. That's how we got 186. Just remember, this one is an invisible denominator of 1. Um, invisible denominator of 1. Okay, so then from here, we can go ahead and simplify this. This would be 24x plus 6x over 6 is just x plus 12 is equal to 186 divided by 3 is 62. So then from here, we can combine like terms. We got 24x and 1x. That would come out 25x plus 12 is equal to 62. So then we go ahead and subtract 
12 from both sides. So minus 12 and minus 12. So then we go ahead and cross the 12 out. We're left with 25x is equal to 50. So then we want x by itself. So we're gonna divide both sides by 25. Divide this by 25, so we can cross the 25 out. So we're left with x is equal to two. Did you get the same answer as this? X is equal to two? Good, perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.